Hello friends, welcome back to a Beatles Bedtime Story. From today I'll, I will read Prophet stories starting from Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So let's start with the first Prophet for today. Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, was the first human being created by Allah. Allah asked the angels to bring different types of clay from the air. The clay was then mixed with water and left it for a while, like bread's dough. Then he shaped it into a form of a man and left it to set. When he was strong, he made the man come alive, and it was Prophet Adam, peace be upon him. After he was alive, Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, sneezed. As soon as he had sneezed, he said, Alhamdulillah, all praises for Allah. After Allah had made Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, he called all the angels and asked them to do such stuff to Prophet Adam, peace be upon him. Shaitan Iblis was there as well and asked them to do the same. All the angels obeyed Allah and did such stuff, but, off, but Shaitan refused. When he was asked why he had refused, he said that he was better than Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, because he was made of fire and Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, was made of clay. Shaitan was only looking at the outside of Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, and not his inside laughs. Allah was very angry that Shaitan disobeyed him. He sent Shaitan away from all the heavens. Ever since then, Shaitan has tried to make people disobey Allah. He succeeds when our faith in Allah, faith in Allah is not strong. Allah asked Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, and his wife Zayda, Hawa, peace be upon her, to live in Jannah. They were allowed to eat whatever they wanted, but they were advised not to go near one tree. Shaitan got jealous and he went to visit Prophet Adam. Peace be upon him and say the how I peace be upon her. In Jannah pretended to be a wise man. He told them that if they ate the fruit of the tree which they were not supposed to go near, they would become angels and would never die. As soon as they ate the fruit of the tree, they realized they had been tricked by Shaitan. They turned to Allah and said sorry, asking him to forgive them. Allah forgave them, but they were asked to leave Jannah and they were sent down to the ass. Can you tell me what is the moral of the story? The moral of the story is that we all must obey Allah. Thank you for listening to my bedtime story. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.